Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. The 76ers are 2 and 11. No, you're not hearing me wrong. They are 2 and 11. That's their record. So, you mean to tell me after acquiring Paul George, you have Joel Embiid? I know he was injured for a little bit. So was Paul George. Maxi, I think he's still out. They are 2 and 11. Paul George been back for a few games now. Joel Embiid been back about two, three games. I'm sure he's not 100%, but come on, man. They're almost dead last in the East. The 76ers are half a game from the last spot in the East, ahead of the Raptors. That's insane. And this is why the Clippers didn't want to give Paul George that money. You know, he was asking for some insane offer. You know, making crazy offers like he's him. and. Steve Baum was like, get the step in. And he made the right decision. Because I'm sorry, Paul George is not winning you any championship. And that's just a fact of the matter. I don't care if he feels like I'm worth his money. That's fine. But he's not winning you any championship. Not anytime soon. And as you can see from the record, they are 2-11. and 11. Paul George, he scored 18 points. Joel Embiid had 11. If you are Paul George, 18 is not enough, especially if Maxi is not back. We need about 30 from you. And this is also why Brandon Jennings was like, he needs to retire and give the young dudes a chance. So everybody was talking about, oh, you know, the Clippers, they disrespected Paul George, yada, yada, yada. No, they did not. They had five years of samples to go off, five years of data. And the Clippers haven't won anything. Even when Kawhi was injured, they had Paul George, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Norman Powell just last season. They couldn't even get past the first round? Come on, man. What are we talking about? And I got no beef against Paul George. I am just keeping it honest. This is sad, man. When we heard about the trade, oh, Paul George, he's joining Philly, Joel Embiid, and Maxi. Everybody's like they're going to be top three in the East. It was only right. It was only right that you would be thinking like that. Okay, you know, we have the Bucks, we have the Celtics. Beyond them, 76ers, they're in the mix as far as what we thought. But this entire season been flipped upside down. The Cavs, they're leading the NBA best record in the East and in the NBA. Celtics doing their normal. They're in second place, second seed. The Cavs are 15 and 0. 15 and 0. That is insane. They haven't lost yet. But I digress. So this whole season been turned upside down. The Cavs, they're on top. Best team, best record in the NBA. And the 76ers, they're at the bottom. The Bucks, they're at the bottom. What the hell is going on? And this is why a lot of people that, you know, sound off on Paul George. Because we have seen enough. I have seen enough. Five years, five seasons as a Clipper. So I have seen enough of Paul George, man. I have seen enough flunking, early round exits. And this is why I was okay when Steve Barmer said, let him walk. You know, because I understood. I knew what it was. We saw Paul George for, you know, five seasons in L.A., you know. Him and Kawhi were supposed to be competing for championships. But unfortunately, they both can't stay healthy. They're always hurt. The man went to Philadelphia, and it's the same story. They're almost dead last in the East and in the NBA. That's crazy. A team with Joel Embiid, Paul George, Maxi. This is sad, man. And this is why people like Brian Windhorse, you know, he sounds off on Paul George. Because we have all seen this movie before. Oh, they're getting Paul George. You get all hype, excited, as you should, but nothing never comes of it. It's the same old song. He goes to a new team. They don't compete for anything. It's the same old song. If you are a Philadelphia 76ers fan, you have to be heartbroken. Imagine, Philly is at the bottom, almost dead last. In the East and the NBA. I never saw this coming. No one saw this coming. And that's sad, man. 
with all that talent. At this point in time, why bother? You're going to keep rolling the dice on Joel Embiid. He can't stay healthy. You're going to keep rolling the dice on Paul George. He can't stay healthy. And whenever he is healthy, still can't show up. When you need him most in the playoffs, to win games, it's the same old song, man. And this is sad. If you are a 76ers fan, you should be heartbroken. Because this is sad. 2 and 11? Like, this is insane. I never thought I'd see the day when a team like Philadelphia 76ers, who has Joel Embiid, Maxi, and Paul George, is 2 and 11. If you told me this before the season started, I would, you know, I would laugh, like, get out of here. Because everybody was saying, you know, this team is going to be in the top, at least in the East, they are going to be in the top three seeds, you know, top three, top four. Easily with this roster, but it just haven't panned out, man. And if I'm the 76 or the front office, I'm sorry. After this season, I'm blowing it all up. Whoever wants Joel Embiid, y'all can have the process. Paul George, I'm going to work out a deal, get off Paul George. You know, we're going to roll with Maxi, get some young players in, and do it all over again. Restart the process, man. I think that's the best option restart the process because Joel Embiid is not going to get you anywhere. Paul George can't stay healthy. And even so, he's not going to get you over the hump. I'm sorry. Boston is the best team in the East and possibly the NBA. And now you have the Cavaliers on fire. They have arrived at least this season. So far, they are 15-0. and 0. The Bucks, they're struggling. They're only 4-9. and nine. You know, not so good, but they could possibly turn that around. They just won last night, so they're actually 5-9. and nine. But this is sad, man. This is just sad. But we're going to see what happened, man, with the 76ers, Paul George. And on top of that, and on top of that, Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse, he's a very good coach. We have seen him in Toronto coaching the Raptors with Kawhi Leonard, and he could coach. One thing we do know, he's a good coach. He's not a bad coach. But sometimes it's not always the coach's fault. It's the players, man. You know, they got to play. You could draw up all the plays you want. If the players don't perform, it doesn't matter. But this is sad, man. What more can I say? It's sad. 2-11, the 76ers, Joel Embiid, Paul George. Man, that's crazy. But. We're going to see what happened moving forward. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.